Hello, Governors. Welcome to another edition of Inside Dalton. I'm Paige Leitner. And I'm Matthew Thomas. So what have you been up to lately, Matt? Well, this weekend I went out and did a little bit of golf and did a lot of cleaning and working on my truck. I've seen that truck. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like it. I'd like to put it on the local circuit, but I haven't found anything I'm really interested into right now. I wish that Dalton had a car show of its own. A car show? That's a good idea. You should put it in the start, the Dalton um, student suggestion box. Oh, they have one, I think. If they have one, I don't even know. I don't know. Do you have 24s? No, I'll be rocking the double deuces quite right. I hope I don't want to wreck my truck. Oh, speaking of wrecking, have you ever had a computer totally crash on you? Well, unfortunately, I've had that experience. It was one of the worst feelings ever. I was actually writing an essay for class and I was on the last page, but luckily I had saved it previously and I could take a flash drive down to the Dalton College Computer Lab. That must have saved you a lot of heartache. Oh, it sure did. Those things only cost about 20 bucks and it makes life so much easier. Flash drives, they're great. A real lifesaver, I tell you what. No, the computer lab is located right next to the library. Students, once they sign in, can use the computers there to study, do their homework, check email, or do research. The operating hours are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Saturday, they're closed. Open back again on Sunday from 1 to 9. Zero. You know, that students' activities department is pretty cool. They rented the All-American Fun Park out for students to enjoy the third Thursday of each month. Except in December. Hey, that means that another free night at the Fun Park is coming up on the 18th. That's right. September 18th, All-American Fun Park will provide free unlimited laser tag, bumper boats, go-karts, and of course golf, and more, from 9 to 11.30 p.m. So Paige, have you been working on a granny shot, Cindy? No, I haven't been able to go bowling in a while. <laughs> oh, well, you have another chance to work on this go to balls, because soon, the doctors have another late night bowling, September 25th. In the AMF Bowlerama lanes, they'll be hosting a free bowling night to Darton students on the last Thursday of each month. The time to play for free is from 10.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, that sounds like fun. I mean, who, who needs sleep, right? <laughs> yes, especially Darden students. Oh, we never yeah. sleep. So, uh, how's your bank shots coming along? They're going pretty good. You know, you could still have a chance to win a pool tournament. The Game Center holds an eight ball tournament each Wednesday at noon. At the end of the semester, there will be a tournament between all of the previous champions. Hey, if you got some skill, why not have some bragging rights as well, huh? That's right. So are you going to compete? Nah, I don't have any skills. Oh, funny. But did you see that comedian guy, Adam Ace, last week? Yeah, that dude was lame. I could have done a better job, but it looks like a lot of my fellow students enjoyed, especially the free food. Yeah, I think, but I think this next comedian coming up should definitely oh, yeah, be funny. Right. We were just looking at him today on, on YouTube, trying to get an idea of what he's like. He's, he's hilarious. Yes, he's hilarious. That's right. October 2nd, Roy Woods Jr. will be in the Student Center. He'll be in the house at 7 o'clock p.m. A free barbecue dinner will be provided 30 minutes prior to the show. All you need to do is show up with your Dalton ID. Well, wow, those IDs really come in handy. They sure do. You know, Aside from all the fun activities, it's time for a much-needed break from class. And Darton College will be offering just that as they're closing October 9th and 10th for a Faculty Staff Development Day. They will resume the following Monday, so your extended weekend will hopefully be pretty safe. The Food Stock event is one of the largest events we have here at the college. I haven't been able to go yet, but I'm planning to yeah. go out there. Our annual food stock has a history of great music and community service in which kind food is brought to help needy families around Albany. I had a chance to speak with Mr. Marietta about this year's food stock. Well, food stock is something we started almost 10 years ago. It's a series of rock concerts with some other special entertainment mixed in. What the benefits is the soup kitchens and the food banks and the uh, homeless shelters. We charge admission 
you know, two or three cans per person. We get a lot of high school students coming, a lot of Darton students come, and all these cans pile up. And last year, uh, about this time, we took five truckloads of food to different soup kitchens and homeless shelters. And I think we had three barrels that went to the Food Bank of Southwest Georgia. And so this year, we're shooting for a little more. We told the Food Bank to bring six barrels, you know, and, and we give local bands an opportunity to um, show their talent, you know, and, and they get an opportunity to play. Channel 19 usually covers it. So it's a, it's a win-win situation for the local bands. Cool. Uh, we've got um, Until the Third Story, and what are some of the bands you've got? Lined? Hopefully we'll get Clorox back, he's pretty popular, and some of the local rock bands probably, so pretty yeah. much if you know them, they'll probably be there from in town. But are we going to have a Guitar Hero contest? We're going to have a Guitar Hero contest, hopefully we're going to have a sumo area set up where you're going to put on fat suits, oh, no. and you and somebody will no. compete. You know, we'll make a do we have yourself. those on campus? We will get them. No, and we're also idea. going to do a hopefully, hopefully, faculty dunking booth. I hate both of those ideas. I don't care. A long time ago, I have some video footage actually of me wrestling or fighting sumo in one of those sumo suits. There'll be an age limit. You can only be under and, and this guy, <laughs> an age to do the sumo. This, this, this peaceful pe speech teacher knocked me over and my head hit the ground and I had a headache they for three days. They have helmets now. They have helmets and fat suits. I know. I was in the fat suit, but I didn't put the helmet we, on. We will enforce no, safety No, I, I think no sumo, no dunking. Okay, that's lousy idea. Yes, both. I think it's a fantastic way for people to come. You bring five cans for admissions and then like last year we had like 20, million or three or four truckloads of canned food and it's just a way for the community to see that Darton actually cares. So it's just a way to kind of bring to the attention that, you know, some people don't eat every day, and we do. So if we can bring them a can of, like, you know, green beans or peas or, you know, vegetable you don't like, somebody else might like it in a can, and they'll eat and not go hungry. So, yeah, and bring, it's just a You can a bring rice. Okay. Bring rice and anything that's not, like, fresh. Like a Subway sandwich probably wouldn't be the best thing to dry bring. Dry goods. Dry goods, things that will last a couple days. Yeah, but we're gonna have T-shirts and uh, yes, I've got the we're gonna have free actually. refreshments for Darden students. Hopefully, Pizza free refreshments. T-shirts, hopefully five to ten dollars. You wear them; they look cool. Hey, Meadow, you're a good cook. I can make a mean bowl of cereal. <laughs> well, whether you're a gourmet chef like Matt here, or just like to enjoy other people's cooking talents, as long as you love food, and you'll love the events coming up November twentieth when South Georgia's very own Paula Dean will be at Darton's campus in the Cavalier Arena. This fourth annual Slice of Life with Paula Dean is an event that will benefit Graceway, a nonprofit, faith-based, substance abuse treatment community for women. The event will feature a silent auction, a live auction, and a new dinner show. Miss Dean will entertain guests with a brand new show and will share with the audience her love of food, family, and friends, as well as some of her celebrity adventures. Advanced reservations for tables of 10 and individual seats are available by calling Graceway at 229-446-4550. Before we let you go, we'd like to share a few important dates concerning classes. October 6th will be the, the date of B-term registration. It will take place from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m and then again from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Fees for B-term registration will also be due on this day. The last important thing to remember is October 8th. October 8th will be the last day to drop a full-term class. If you drop a full-term class after this date, your grade will still count towards your GPA. Ouch! You know, that's also the day that, it, that a term classes will be ending. B-term classes start up the next Monday, October 13th. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining us for another Inside Edition on Channel 19. Have a great week in class. Like it.